Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel. Another video for you guys. If you didn't see the last one, I failed on headlights again. Um, we had the first set, didn't work out. About another set, ended up being the same exact headlights. Obviously didn't work out. So, we got round three. Let's open these things up and see what they are. Check them out, check them out. Looking pretty cool. Let's hope they uh, actually work. So I'm gonna throw them in the truck and fire them up, see what they do. All right guys, got those things in. Let's fire them up, see how they work. All right, look good there, but check that out. We actually have some light on the wall and on the ground, and high beams look pretty good too. So I definitely think those things are gonna work. And they look pretty sweet too. So the only thing I was bummed about is they didn't have the integrated blinkers in them. So I'm gonna have to figure out another spot for a blinker. Like I said in the last video, I might wire it into here in the side marker lights. Um, but I'll figure that out later. But I'll show you guys, I'll bring this thing out when it gets dark. Still light outside, so later on when it gets dark, I'll bring it outside, show you guys the pattern, maybe go down the road a little bit, show you the, uh, the output of these things, see how they work. All right guys, there's the output. Much, much better. There's the highs. Oh yeah, they're a little high still, but that's a lot better than the other headlights. Actually, pretty freaking bright. All right, guys, there it is. So <clears throat> these things are are much, much, much better. So I'll fix all the links um, and I'll switch them to these. So please don't buy those other ones. They are not very good. All right guys, I figured out what I'm doing with the blinkers. So I found a way to get the side marker light and the blinker to work out of this single filament bulb in here. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. All right, so this is the original blinker wire here that we we went through this resistor for the LED blinker or the one that was in the headlight. So what we're going to be doing is taking our side marker light, we're going to cut the white the white wire here and we're going to hook that to the green wire here. So this is a power, this is a ground. So it's basically going to be a floating ground um, to power this bulb. So if you guys decide to do this, you need to use a halogen bulb. You can't use a, a LED bulb with this application because the LED is a polarity sensitive bulb. So meaning if you, it'll only work <clears throat> if you have the correct side to a positive and the correct side to a negative. If you flip this bulb around, it won't work. Um, so that being said, when our side marker lights, if, if you have an LED in, it'll work with when you have your lights on. If you have your headlights on, your side marker light on, it will blink. But if you turn your headlights off and your side marker light off, 
it will not you won't get the blink function out of it they actually do make a 194 bulb that is a switchback and it switches with the change in polarity so say this is your positive that's your negative it'll be um, white and if you switch your polarity this positive that's negative it'll flash amber but it will flash the different colors so when your headlights are off it'll flash white if your headlights are on it'll flash amber I didn't really like that so I'm just gonna stick with a halogen bulb so and we also don't need this resistor because we're using a halogen bulb so we can rip that off and all you gotta do is connect the green wire here to the white wire here and you're done and I'll show you how how it functions All right, just to show you guys <clears throat> what I'm talking about, I put the LED back in there. So we got the white, this green wire is original, this white wire is now connected to the green of the factory turn signal. So there is the side marker light. There's the blinker, that works as it should, but I'll turn the headlights off. The blinker's still on. As you can see, the rear's still blinking, and we got nothing. Now, if we pull this off, and get the stock standard halogen bulb, it works. Turn the headlights back on. There's the headlights on. And the blinker off. So, very simple. You just uh, got to be aware you can't use an LED. So, I'm going to button all this back up, get this whole front end back together, and we can be done with it once and for all. Alright boys, front ends all together. Let's turn some lights on and see what we got. So we got side markers there. There's our low beam. So these headlights, the two side lights and the top light is the low beam and then that big one on the bottom is the high beam. So I'll flip that high on real quick. There's the highs. You can see that lower light is on right there. And then throw the flashers. There we go. So all them lights are working like they should. All right guys, another thing that I didn't realize you had to do when you do your blinkers and your side markers is you gotta get a different flasher. So this is a EL12 um, and this just goes, this is mounted up under here. So I'll pull that off, swap the flasher out because you can see here, that's a normal blink. And that's what I was testing everything on, but I got a super fast blinker. So I'm gonna swap that flasher relay and try that one. It's supposed to fix that issue. All right, this is a stock flasher. This is a three pin flasher. The wiring for it is right here and the new one is a two pin so what you got to do is at least on my truck it's the center pin here and then the left pin so I don't know if you guys can see this but 
it's really easy if you if you put it in the wrong way it's just your your blinkers won't work so try it one way if it doesn't work flip it around so there's that our flashers are still working and blinker we got uh, we got the right speed for those blinkers so that was an easy fix alright guys that wraps up the front end of this thing headlights are working like they should side marker blinker everything's good, good to go so like I said I'll fix the links and I'll link these headlights and these things actually work pretty sweet so um, they actually have a beam pattern it's not just scattered all over and and uh, dark spots and and the high high and lows are are where they should be so so far I'm happy with them so thanks for watching guys if you haven't subscribed do that now like the video comment let me know what you think and we'll see you in the next one